What is up guys, welcome back to another Fallout video, and today I'm bringing you episode 8, I think, I'm not even sure anymore, of our top 5 mod series for Fallout 4 for the PS4, and I just noticed this, we were getting really, really close to 3,000 subscribers, so thanks for the support, and hopefully we can hit it by the end of the month, I mean, I know we'll do it before then, but let's try to hit it as fast as we can, so, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, but let's get right into it. Alright guys, so the first mod that we have today is the Finch Farm and Grey Garden Overpass mod by Trotsky. So basically what this mod does is it adds in type of a hydraulic lift that will carry you to the top of the overpass by any of the settlements that actually have a overpass going over them that you can build on. So as you can see here, I am at Finch Farm and if you go to your left and by it's by the workstation, you will see that there is a type of lift taking you to the top. So just go on it and then press the little button and it will take you to the top of the overpass so you can go ahead and build up there. Now, you before you would either have to build a ladder or some type of stairs to get up to this place, but it just makes it a lot more handy to just have this hydraulic lift that'll just pull you up there, and it's a lot more quicker and efficient. Also, it is compatible with every other mod, and there is no DLC required, so don't have to worry about disabling any of your other mods to actually use this, and it's just a little mod that you want to put into your game if you're not trying to change anything too drastic, but just like make your game more efficient. Okay, so the second mod that we have today is the DC Glory mod by Slacks Now Sticks. I'm not sure how you pronounce his name, but basically what this mod does is it just revamps all of Diamond City to make it look more clean and all the trash is picked up and they've added in a lot more stuff as you can see here for the entrance, they've added in statues and like little like arches with fire coming out of them and they've paved the roadways and just made all the houses look really nice. As you can see here, they've added new signs and just more updated buildings and actually more buildings and they've actually added in another settlement into here because they cleaned out the left field of um, Diamond City so now you can build out there and it's actually a new location that you can discover. So as you can see here, all the roadways are really paved and it's really nice. All the trash has been cleaned up. Um, all the buildings look a little more clean, there's not as broken, and they're like brick, and they just look a lot more stylish as if it was before, or actually a long time after the bomb has went off, and they've had time to rebuild it even more than they have um, in the original version. And like I said, they have added in an actual new settlement into here where you can discover it's called the Diamond City Outfield or something like that, because they cleaned out all the like um, paths and the... Uh, gardens and the like stables for the brahmins so it's just all grass now and you can actually build things out here such as buildings and stuff like that and you can actually fast travel to it and this mod is compatible with every other one that i've seen and it is actually no dlc required so don't have to worry about any of that and it's actually a really really cool mod to just install into your game the third mod that we have today is the wolverine healing mod by disjulzda and basically what this mod does is it just adds in a whole bunch of new rings to the uh place by Sanctuary, um, the Vault 111, and um, so basically what it does, it has a, a whole bunch of rings, and the, one of their abilities is to regenerate health fast um, while you're in combat, another ability is to regenerate damaged limbs, um, regenerate health fast out of combat, regenerate from rads faster, regenerate AP faster, 10% faster movement, increase carrying weight by 50, increase melee and unarmed damage by 10%, and boost perception by 5 and strength by 2, so Whenever you are at Vault 111, just go back into that little, um, like, loot little building and buy the fan on the table. There's going to be a whole bunch of rings that you can put on, and they add no carry weight, and they add no armor space. So you can put all of them on at once and just be super, super OP, and it makes you super, super fast, and you're, like, just so OP, and it's pretty much impossible to die unless you just suck really bad. And I found using these rings are really, really fun whenever you are in combat and just trying to take out a whole bunch of enemies or if you're just running out of stuff to do and just want to screw around and just kill enemies in the wasteland. And as you can see in the gameplay, I'm really, really fast. You can get places really quickly when you have these rings on and it's like the, pretty much the closest we can get to becoming Wolverine since PS4 doesn't let scripts into the game where you can mess with all that type of stuff. So using rings is about as close as you're going to get with this and to be as realistic as possible. And there's no really outfits you can add on that I've seen and if you any stuff like that. So no mods is going to really enhance your gameplay better than this. So this uh, mod also does not, you know, is incompatible with any other mods that I've seen so far and there is no DLC required. So that's a plus. Overall, it's a really, really good mod and I might have to do an individual video on this because there's just so much for it to offer because um, there's a whole bunch of different rings and they have so much um, actual stuff you can do with it. 
The final mod that we have today, guys, is the Improved Lighting Ballistics mod by Rapeyip89, I guess, I don't even know, I'm, I suck at pronouncing these guys' names, I should stop doing that, but basically what this does is, it enhances, like, the, like, just shot burst whenever the light comes on from your weapons, like, as you can see here from this mini nuke, it just makes it look super, super realistic, it adds more lens flare, and it makes it brighter, and I just think it looks so much more cooler than the stock weapons, where it would just, just kind of flash on your screen and just increase the contrast, but this, it just does it with so many other weapons, like as you can see here on this weapon, it's going to increase your like muzzle flash, and it kind of like traces the bullets, almost like they're tracer rounds. And then more weapons, like the plasma and the flamethrower, are going to be your most, like as you can see here, these are just so bright. I think it's a lot more cool than just the basic weapons, and I am going to just use this all the time, because I just think it looks super, super cool. Along with the flamer, but the only thing I haven't really liked about some of these mods is they look a little, a little weird. Because some like the uh, tracer rounds makes it look a little unrealistic and just less realistic than it would normally. But I mean, overall, I like this mod very, very well. And there's no really DLC required with this that I've seen. Um, I don't know why you need one. Also, it pretty much works with every other mod that I've seen. So that's also a plus. Overall, it's a really, really good mod to add to your game if you're not really trying to drastically change anything. But just enhance the graphics and the way the game plays by maintaining its core root values. Surprise, surprise, that was not actually the last mod. This is the last one. I kind of miscounted, but basically, this mod is a Sanctuary Hills revamped PS4 mod by Felocious is Life. And pretty much all this mod does is it just flattens out Sanctuary and gets rid of a lot of the junk houses inside of it so you have more room to place your stuff. So, if you go to Sanctuary here and you go to like the backyard type of it, you're going to see that a lot of it is more leveled out now and there's a lot more grass area and the hedges are like closer to the outside around the base. And I found. This is actually really, really helpful because there is so much more space you can do, and if you don't like the hedges, you know, you can remove them if you want to, and it'll create a lot more space, and, but I kind of like how they just go around the base because they kind of create a little wall so you don't have to waste space building walls, but um, if you don't like them, you know, you can just get rid of them, and the amount of space that this is going to allow you to create is just, it's amazing how much more you can actually put into your base, so it's a pretty simple mod overall, no DLC required. But the mod creator does say to put this at the top of your mod list, so if you have a whole bunch of mods before it, it might not work, so just keep it at the top if you do plan running this with other mods. So that's pretty much all I have for you today, guys. I actually have a chemistry test I should be studying for right now, but instead I made a video, so I'll show you how much I am dedicated to this. And with that, I'd like to talk about with you real quick um, the lack of videos lately, and... Um, before, during the summer, I told you guys that during the school year, there might be some times where uh, I won't be uploading as much just because I've been busy with school, and I have, but also, I've just been kind of slacking lately, and which is kind of, which is all, all my fault, and because um, I've always really put YouTube before anything, so I really do love doing it, and I like making videos for people, and I love seeing the support that I get on it, except when you guys do call me a clickbaiting faggot, but I mean... What are you gonna do? There's always haters out there and everything, but I really do. My phone just went off. Um, I do like. I don't even remember what I was saying. But I will try to keep um on the schedule more. Like for a while, I was uploading like one video a week, and one time I didn't even upload a video all week, which was the longest break I ever took from doing videos, which I felt really, really bad for. Like I want to make videos, but also I was kind of just kind of in a rut, and I've been making them every other day for a year, and I kind of got tired of it for a little bit, but then I took a break, and now I'm I'm liking doing them again, so. I should be on the same schedule again, I'm not sure, hopefully I'm going to be on the same schedule, hopefully there's going to be a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday like normally, and the reason I put this at the end of the video is because I know only the real fans watch it, because if you're in, I don't want to bore all the people who just want to see the mods at the very beginning of the video by talking about it, but just kind of wanted to give you guys who are actually wondering and all that stuff about why I'm not uploading videos too much anymore I'm gonna try to do it again like I said but hopefully it does stay on track and like I said at the beginning of the video we are getting really really close to 3,000 subscribers and we hit 2,000 subscribers very very quickly like it only took like two months but it's kind of slowed down again because I haven't been uploading as much but that's gonna really motivate me to post more because once we hit four or 3,000 the grind of 4,000 is gonna start and then the ground of 5,000 you know we're gonna we're gonna get to 10,000 guys and I, I know I'm gonna do it so Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.